Select an identity for the given expression. We have two cosine two x divided by sine two x. Since cotangent theta equals cosine theta divided by sine theta, the given expression is equal to two cotangent two x, but two cotangent two x is not one of our choices, and therefore we'll perform a substitution for cosine two x and sine two x, and then simplify to see if we can find a matching expression. Beginning with the given expression, let's first perform a substitution for sine two x because there is only one double angle identity for the sine function. Sine two theta equals two sine theta cosine theta, and therefore we will substitute two sine x cosine x for sine two x. Now let's perform a substitution for two cosine two x. Notice how for cosine two x we have three choices. Because the denominator contains both sines and cosines, let's use the identity that contains sines and cosines as well. Let's use the identity cosine two theta equals cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Or in our case, cosine two x equals cosine squared x minus sine squared x and therefore the numerator becomes two times the quantity cosine squared x minus sine squared x. We'll notice how two divided by two simplifies to one, giving us the quantity cosine squared x minus sine squared x divided by sine x cosine x. From here, because we have a difference in the numerator, let's write this as two fractions and then simplify the two fractions. This expression is equivalent to cosine squared x divided by sine x cosine x and then minus sine squared x divided by sine x cosine x. Notice how the first fraction has a common factor of cosine x that will simplify out between the numerator and denominator. The cosine x in the denominator will simplify to one, and the cosine squared x in the numerator will simplify to one factor of cosine x. Notice this fraction contains a common factor of sine x between the numerator and denominator that will simplify to one. The sine x in the denominator simplifies to one, and the sine squared x in the numerator simplifies to one factor of sine x. So the first fraction simplifies to cosine x divided by sine x. And the second fraction simplifies to sine x divided by cosine x. And cosine x divided by sine x is equal to cotangent x. And sine x divided by cosine x is equal to tangent x. So now we know the given expression is equal to cotangent x minus tangent x, which is one of the choices, in this case, the last choice. I hope you found this helpful.